growing cotton is huge, huge cost and the, the more we can um, uh, minimise our costs uh, with technology, the, the better off we can be down the track, the more efficient we can be, basically. The technological changes that we've seen for the last, particularly in the last 10 years, have been very dramatic, particularly in, in view of, uh, in light of things like uh, GPS, uh, and now the advent of drones in the industry is bringing benefits to farmers that we could never have realised 10 or 15 years ago. We lasered the country. Uh, we went from a furrow irrigation to a bankless irrigation system, which is quite damaging to the country. You're moving a lot of dirt, you're taking good soil from bad soil, and you're taking away topsoil. So basically what we wanted to do was, with the imagery, is to identify the high yielding areas and the lower yielding, so we can actually put the um, fertiliser to the, to the crop crops needs. Up to now it's basically blanket being blanket um, uh, application of fertilizers mainly nitrogen and phosphorus but as we all know plants require more than this and the weakest link is the nutrient that is in shortest supply. At the moment soil sampling and leaf tissue test is done in the form of paddock by paddock but I believe with the uh, with the agronomy service that we will be able to split this up into different soils which again will help us to um, advise the farmers to even a greater extent because each paddock may contain up to two to three different soil types. What we will look at doing with it is um, adapting the correct fertiliser rates to the potential yield of the crop. So there's a couple of uh, cost saving benefits there, one to the environment, um, the other is just straight out of your back pocket in, in actual fertiliser cost. Um, you're up around 700 bucks a hectare to fertilise cotton all the way through, so you want to be getting the right amount of fertiliser uh, to where the plant needs it, to where the crop needs it. So if you've moved your topsoil around, then it's obviously more fertile in some areas than others, and using the imagery enables us to identify those areas where we've moved it to. If you can lower your cost by 10% in a, in a cropping regime that is uh, upwards of uh, three and a half to four thousand dollars a hectare to grow, the returns are very significant. Um, and if agronomy can provide those sorts of benefits, then I can see its use becoming uh, very substantial right throughout the valley. There are lots of drone owners and um, you know all the all talking stuff that they can do and everything, but I've, I've not heard too many dollars talked. So this is what I'm excited to work with Agronomy, that we can actually put some dollars down and show the farmers where you're going to make some money out of this or save some money. Without a doubt, we're going to use the Agronomy service again. Um, the benefits we've seen already, um, we want to take forward the future, not only just for cotton, but also our broadacre and our uh, other summer crops that we grow, such as mung beans and whatnot. I believe that the uh, growers of this valley should be using techniques like the agronomy service. It brings advantages that are unavailable otherwise. It allows them to seek better yields, seek better management, lowering in their input costs, and generally having a, a far better return to capital on their properties. As we move forward to Precision Ag, we can see the benefits come from, from um, agronomy services being an absolute must. Um, I, I think uh, cost versus reward is going to be fantastic, but we've, you know, we do definitely do need the service.